how do you look up the source of a web page? And there's a lot of fun things you can do with this. In fact, there's a, a scene in Mr. Robot where Elliot reminisces about when he used to be able to go back and look at the source code of a web page and you can just copy it out and save it and steal it and make it your own. And let's talk about how to do that right now. So, um, and it doesn't have to be anything really very fancy. Um, you could go, so here's this is web sockets. You could go to even the skill stack page, skillstack.io. We'll go out there. And um, so here we are, we're on skillstack.io. And all you need to do is right click. You may know this already. And you can do view page source if you want to see the actual source code, which you can copy and paste into something of your own. Um, or you can just right click and do uh, inspect. Now, I imagine most of you out there, the curious among you, have already figured out how to do this. This is not particularly hackery. I am kind of dressed like hacker or quintessential hacker today, but um, it's it's not particularly hackery. But there is a there are a couple of situations where this can be very valuable, um, and I, I do want to show you some of the fun. Th so the obvious first reason to do inspect element is to just kind of understand how a web page is composed, and let me show you how that will work out when we're doing live development. So so here I am in VS Code. I have a web page that is really not a web page. I just put you know something in here just to make a point. Uh, whoops, here we go. Did I switch back? Did I switch back? Yeah, you guys back? Okay. So, so anyway, here you go. You're looking at the web page here. And I don't know if you can see, but you can kind of highlight over everything and it'll show you exactly the thing. There's a lot of stuff there. Um, but the, the, the other method here is, is to actually work on a web page. Um, and then down here, we've already did talked about this in a different video. This is a live server video. You can click on this and that will load it up into its own web server being served on the website 127.0.0.1, which means your computer um, and that port 5500. And there you see, there it is, right? And if you right click on this, you'll see it's, it's quite a bit simpler, right? Now, in my case, I made sure to put it on dark. I have dark reader extension on so that I didn't blind you like I did in the other video. But as you can see, dark reader added a bunch of classes here to change the colors and everything. But the most important piece is right there in the body is something I can actually change this. I can change it to, to uh, I can like double click on it and change it to something else. And you can have all kinds of fun with this, actually. Um, for example, you could go to the government White House. Uh, I have to be careful here <laughs> because uh, there used to be a porn site <laughs> at whitehouse.gov. Uh, it was something similar to that. So, I mean, I, who, I always, this is dating this video, but that's okay. I used to always make fun of this um but you can actually have a lot of fun with this you can inspect this element and say um you know i look people i i don't i don't i'm not this isn't a political video i'm just gonna have no matter who the president is here i would have fun with it right so i can go over here and i can double click on this and it says remarks by president biden right and i could say i could say something like uh president um let's actually change it wait why isn't it changing why, why you no work? All right, let's close this one, move this one over. I mean, you, the point is I want you to experiment with stuff. So I'm trying to have fun with it. I'm trying to get to that one store on global variable. It's not letting me change the value for some reason in this case. It should just let me double click it. All right, so now here we can go like this. We can say, uh, we could say uh, Biden, uh, Let's see. <laughs> Biden says, hello. I'm trying to be nice here. And you click on something else and you see how it, uh, oh wow. Okay, so there was like, there was something else going on here. Let's actually just delete this one altogether. How about that? So, so then you just click off of it. So it says Biden says hello. And then you could actually change the picture here uh, and all kinds of stuff like that. But one of the really cool things I want to show you, this is one of the most junior hacks uh, that you could ever do. And, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you how to do that right now. So uh, in order to do this, I have to be really careful. Um, 
if you do this, I mean, notice, by the way, if you close this up, if you close up inspect element, notice that nobody, nobody sees on the web page that it's been changed. I have a story about that. I have a very, I have a very bad story about this. I almost don't want to tell you. I'm going to tell you anyway. Um, I taught this to somebody and they told me how they use this technique to pull up the grades from, I, th I think I may have talked about this in another video, but they, they use this to pull up the grades uh, from the school website, the internal school website, and to show their, their, their mom in this case, um, their grades. And before their mom came into the room to see the grades, they inspected element and they changed all their grades. <laughs> and then they closed inspect element so that their mom saw a web page and didn't know that the grades had been changed and it never occurred to them that their trusting young child would not would change those grades. Um, and this this person confessed this to me and I was like, you make sure you go tell her what your actual grades are. I felt really bad because I was like, because if that ever came out that I taught them how to do that and that they were, you know, taking advantage of people who didn't know better. Um, the, this is really scary because you can actually take an existing. So like, by the, by the way, if you, if, if this is a way to troll people, right? Because you can take, you can go to any like news agency site or any site whatsoever and you can click on the stuff that you want and you can change it to say whatever you want. And then you can take a screenshot and you can put the screenshot in Twitter or something and you can say, see, look at this. And 90% of the people seeing that are never going to know that you manipulated the site, but the site will otherwise look like it's exactly the same. So yeah, it's a way to troll and to do memeing and all that other stuff. And um, oh, got scrubbed. That's too bad. We're not talking about that. Please stay on topic on my stream while I'm making videos. Um, so anyway, if you want to do that, that's how you do that. Um, if you do want to mock up the website, if you want to mock up changes to somebody's website, that is one way to do that as well. Um, but there is actually one last very, very, very nefarious, very dangerous thing you can do with this. And the reason I'm putting this in this video right now is because there's so many people who don't know that this can be done. Okay. This is so important. So let me show you what I mean. Um, you can actually go to any website that has a password that's been obfuscated. And you can't hack the password, so let's actually make one. I'm not going to do this to any site at all. Um, and this works for anything in any web browser. Um, uh, avoid this by pressing F5. Yeah, but most 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 people will not know to do that. Okay, so so let's make a form, and we're gonna we're gonna give it. Uh, you guys, don't, we haven't. We're gonna talk about this later, but I'm just gonna do it really quickly today. Um, in fact, we don't even need to be a part of a form. We can just put input type equals password, right? Um, equals password and, and, uh, name equals, um, uh, something. I mean, this is just, the only reason I'm doing this is just to show you, uh, form input data. It's like, you can put, uh, enter your password here, right? And, um, let's go ahead and preview that. So we'll go back to our preview page. Where is it? Where is it? I might have to click it again. I don't remember where it is. Um, uh, oh, I, I, I can, I can go to it. I, I lost it, but I'll go it again. So it's one, two, seven, one, nine, two, sorry. One, nine, one, uh, no, 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 no. Where is it? Local host. Is it 50 50? I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. Okay, so it's down here. Click on this port 5500 closer. Okay, let's reopen it, I guess, because I'm lame and I can't remember. All right, there it is 5500. What do you say? Okay, so here's our password, right? So you can say, uh, my super secret password. Okay, so this is what I'm trying to tell you. 
Okay, so you ever you ever come back to a site? Have you ever have you ever opened up the web browser that somebody else was using? Maybe it was a maybe it was in a library, maybe it was a multi-user system, right? And so somebody for some stupid reason clicked on save. They clicked on save to save the form data, right? Or, or there's a million reasons, but the form data has been stored in the web browser locally. Uh, or maybe maybe you have somebody over your shoulder, right? Maybe somebody doesn't think they need to um, secure their their desktop PC because oh, you can't see it. It's a bunch of periods. It's a bunch of dots, right? So here's here's one scenario. So you're working with somebody. They enter their password in really quickly. They don't have any any security on their computer at all, and they go get coffee or something. You just get on the computer and you do this. You right click on this, inspect element. And you change the type from password to text, and you click off of it, and you can see their password. And don't forget to change it back if you do that, by the way. So you double click it on here, and then you tape it, tape it back to password, and boom, you got their password. You sit back down. They don't even know that you looked at the password that they entered. That is extremely easy. It's one of the easiest hacks you can do to anybody. And if you social engineer them and make them have a reason to get out of the room, it's very, very easy to do that. Um, so many people think that that those dots like, save them. And, and I'm trying to tell you whether this be for your local, like, like if you go, I don't even want to show you this one. I, I, I really don't want to show you this one. Um, I'm not going to show you this one, but if you know how to access, if you're on an internal Wi-Fi network and you know how to access the router dashboard, if you know what the IP address is, and I'm not going to tell you that you should know it. If you know how to access that thing, you can go onto that. And because it'll give you a web prompt, you might, you might be able to right click on it while they're out of the room and look up the admin password for their router. And if you have this, if you have the serial number for the router, which you can easily just write down while they're out of the room, you've got access to their entire network, their entire home network. Um, you, you saw people entering password, the dangerous hacks like that, entering passwords and log into the OS they were running in. Yeah. So, I mean, this, this goes without saying, right? So not to mention the fact that so many people use the same password for everything. So if you find out what somebody's password is, and you use it and you're able to get it like really quickly this way you could use it anywhere. So now you know, now you know just how dangerous this is. Please, please, please don't be owned by anybody. And if you're going to own somebody, own responsibly. <laughs> all right, that's all. So there are lots of other reasons to use Inspect Element. The most important of them, uh, of course, is to be able to see how something is done. So for example, um, let's end on a more, a less nefarious note here. Um, the main reason that we do inspect element um, is to look up uh, these these elements. So see how there's an HTML element, and then there's a head element, and then there's a body element, right? So by looking at that, we're going to use that in a bit. You can see that even though uh, a document that does not define those things, which is a 100% valid HTML5, um, those things will be added by the web browser and that is also part of the specification so if you don't know how a web page is being done you can always inspect element and you can get to understand you can understand how this stuff is working it's very valuable you can actually do amazing things with javascript which we will not cover right now but that is the best way for you to to learn about stuff and i want to end with one last story okay so this story happened this is a true story um the uh school district that shall not be named decided that they were going to buy software. Uh, they were, they bought software that included quizzes and online tests that contained the answers as hidden fields uh, inside of the HTML. So let me show you what I mean by that. They had input with type equals hidden uh, and they would have um, name equals uh, answer uh, value equals something secret, right? And I'm, this is a true story. Um, 
some school district that shall not be named and shall forever be shamed um, decided that they would buy software from a company that chose to hide the answers to the test in plain text as hidden fields. And as you can see, if, if you're just taking the test here, you know, there'd be a question to the test and the answer would be there, right? They didn't even obfuscate it. They didn't, obfuscation means they would have changed it to be something else, like, you know, in Base 64 or even Rot 13. They didn't do any of that. They, they just made it the answers. And because of this um, tremendous snafu, any kid who wanted to see the answers to that question could right click on it, inspect element, and they could see the answer to the to that question right there. And the smart kids did do that. And it goes without saying that the, this completely idiotic school district banned inspect element from every single browser in the entire school district. Rather than own up to this mistake, million dollar mistake or whatever, well, how much money they spent for this, they actually said, you cannot inspect element on any computer that any of our students use. And I love telling that story because the number, this video has two things, two messages. The main message is if you want to learn how to do web development, learn inspect element because it's one of the best ways to learn web development, including if you're working for a school district that doesn't know about inspect element. And number two, don't, you know, do stupid things in your inspect element and in, in to, uh, in your software, in your professional software, because you should expect everything to be inspect element. That that entire school district had to eat crow and try to stop people from inspecting element, and and they shut down the number one method for learning HTML, which is just look at the source, which is really sad. So, hopefully that gives you some fun things to play with. Be good out there, though. <laughs>